Uh, welcome to the next video. We were performing uh, 10 into 10 in migration using Quest. So, uh, the next step in migration is to uh, give consent to various uh, services uh, which we want to uh, migrate. Right. So whether it is your mailbox or users or uh, your auditing features or license management services or your uh, exchange mailboxes, SharePoint, Teams, Power BI data, whatever we want to migrate, we need to grant consent. Right. So that uh, Quest can have access on that data in your source and also the target tenant where you want to migrate and it can read or write the uh, services right or the users or details of users can be migrated from one tenant to another right now uh, i want to uh, show you uh, that how as whenever we give permissions uh, to a third party tool on Entra ID or on our Azure Active Directory uh, data to any third party application. So what exactly permissions or how they are given? So I'm logging on to my uh, Entra ID. So we are in the Entra ID and we will go to the uh, enterprise applications, right? Since Quest is already an enterprise grade application, uh, we uh, need to go to the enterprise applications, right? It won't be visible in uh, application registration. And guys, uh, I want you to observe on the screen that there are multiple Quest on demand uh, uh, applications added, right? Now, we can click on any one of them. I'm going to go with this uh, quest on demand and we will observe that uh, there are multiple permissions assigned here, right? If you observe here, so there are different sections in Entra ID, right? Like here, if you can observe via Microsoft Graph, some permissions are assigned. In the same way, if we will go to quest on demand core basic. So here also some permissions are assigned right for directory or for organization and here only the read permissions are assigned right now so as soon as we will start granting access from quest to uh, for various features like for exchange or sharepoint whenever we will grant a permission a specific application will be added you can see the exact list of permissions uh, here you can see it on the screen what all permission will be uh, granted you can also re-grant the consent if it is required uh, if you think that some more permissions have been added or more permissions are required we can re-grant them also right so you can view the details and uh, then we click on grant consent we get redirected to the authentication page and uh, you can see the name of the application on top you can see the permissions and we click on accept and then you can observe in the uh, entra id portal that uh, uh, a new application has been added and uh, whatever set of permissions were required for this particular uh, application or this particular task they would have been added there in the entra id right now uh, just like we assigned permission for uh, core collectors in the same way we are going to assign uh, for the permissions not granting the audit one now we don't need it as of now not even uh, license management the basic one is assigned we don't need to assign other ones for our task for now so we will go for the uh, the basic one not the full one 
it is only required for the target tenant uh, it is mandatory required for target tenant not for the source tenant if you want we can uh, assign that also but we need the basic minimal one so we're going to go with that let's grant access again uh, select your account you can see the name of the application see the permissions and accept In the same way, uh, we will grant access for mailbox and uh, uh, OneDrive uh, also. So guys, uh, I want you to observe that I have granted the basic access which was required for the source tenant, right? We uh, added the collectors. Uh, permission then uh, we can add audit if you want to read the audit data if you want to read the license data we can add that permission so far we have added uh, the basic minimal so that we can migrate the user accounts then we have granted uh, the mailbox migrations data uh, right and no need uh, we cannot use it for target tenant we'll use this one for the target and the other one the basic full also for target tenant these full ones are not required for the source tenant so i've not granted this one but we have granted this one right and since i have a t1 license which is a free license and it doesn't have access for power bi or sharepoint or teams so i have anyhow uh, not granted consent but uh, you can see that we can uh, grant access if required we can go through that now so guys we have already added a one tenant but uh, because we want to perform a tenant to tenant migration so we need a second tenant right so let's add a second tenant right we click on add tenants and again you choose the type of tenant you want to add whichever is your target tenant you click on ok and we uh, will be redirected to the authentication page make sure that you are a global administrator uh, right add the username and the password of your target tenant and let's authenticate right we'll have to assign permissions guys we have been through this right uh, assigning access to quest on your intra id right again you can go to your intra id go to your enterprise applications and you can check uh, the permissions assigned to quest on your intra id right now we can see our uh, second tenant uh, contoso here right just like we uh, gave consent to our source tenant in the same way we will have to uh, grant consent to all those uh, services or features for the target tenant also right guys these steps are exactly same which we performed for the source tenant uh, the only difference will be uh, that which permissions you need to assign right like for the source tenant we went with the minimal permissions but for the uh, target tenant we will go for the full permissions right we're done with the core no audit no license management we'll directly go to the uh, migration and uh, basic full then the mailbox ones then the onedrive one and uh, if any other permission is required you can grant that as well all right guys so i need you to observe that uh, we assigned the permissions to the uh, target tenant also right we already assigned in this one earlier and then uh, behind the scenes i assigned the rest of the permissions which were required for the target tenant right this one is not required and cannot be used for the target tenant so i have not assigned the minimal conditions either it is basic or for mailbox migration 
for uh, for the one drive the minimals are not assigned and because we don't have license of power bi in sharepoint and so on so i have not assigned those permissions and uh, one drive full and mailbox migration for this also done right okay so uh we are done with adding the tenants we are done with uh, granting the access now the next step is to create a project let's click on projects here and uh, let's create a new project within the project we will specify our source and target tenants let's give our project name let's say uh, migration project one right and i'm gonna use the same name for description i'm gonna type poc here since we are doing a proof of concept my source tenant is the alpha fashions one and my target tenant is the demo tenant the contoso demo tenant which i am using let's click on save and continue so what all assets do we want to migrate so we want to migrate accounts right we want to migrate mailboxes and we also want to migrate one right? not selecting the rest of the services uh if you want we can select them make sure that you have assigned the correct permissions under the consent menu uh, if you want to migrate SharePoint or Teams or other services, right? Now let's click on save and continue. And uh, let's see the consent. So whatever consent is required, you can see if it's not assigned, we can grant it. But uh, as you can see, I already assigned the mailbox migration basic and the consent for OneDrive, right? If you want to see the details that exactly what kind of permissions are added so we can see them from view details menu. All right. Now let's scroll down and uh, do you plan to use migration features that require additional credentials? No, we do not need any additional credentials. Uh, let's click on save and continue and we are done with creation of our project let's click on finish so let's click on migrate here go to projects i just wanted to show you how you can go to your projects from uh, like the main menu so that is our project if you will observe here whatever accounts or events or tasks have been performed and whether your uh, whatever is the status of your content migration whether it's sharepoint or onedrive or mail or active directory we can see the status or the cards are available for each of the services right now under accounts let's click on open the very first step uh, in migration is to discover the accounts so right now you can see that i do not have any user accounts here although i would like to show you that uh, i have a couple of uh, user accounts in my uh, entra id and uh, when we will discover uh, all those accounts uh, every account in my tenant should be visible in the uh, quest tenant as well So guys, I want you to observe uh, the uh, list of uh, users I have in my tenant. Let's come back here and here I don't have any user accounts. Here I have nine users out of whom um, two are guest members. Okay, now let's click on discovery and let's click on discover all 
uh, you can discover from a file or from security groups also we are going to discover all for now and let's um, this is a account discovery task a new task will be created let's click on next and i want a notification email once a task is completed not only in the case of failure this is my uh, recipient account click on next i want to run the task now let's click on next and uh, let's click on finish now the task has been started so you click on tasks here or if we go back to the dashboard we should be able to see the task here as well right let's click on show all here so guys as you can see our task is uh, still going on and it is in progress you can see that there is a one event let's go to events and uh, let's see what exactly is the event so the event is that the task has been started right now depending on the number of users or the accounts you have in your organization um, this task can take uh, that much time right now let's wait for the task to complete and then we will come back